Hello? Your results have come back up normal. I'd like to schedule you to come in for a biopsy as soon as possible. So I feel like right when I'm working on my mental health, you know, because of what I'm going through now, this, which is like... Thank you so much for clicking on my video. And if you're returning, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to continue recapping Tia Mori, my next act. And today we're going to be looking at episode four, All Is Well. Once again, thank you so much for clicking on my video. If you haven't already, feel free to go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and please don't forget to share so more people can find us. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the episode All Is Well of Tia Mori, My Next Act. And don't forget, this airs on WeTV on Fridays, 8, 7 Central. You, 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 you got it? I got it, I got it. Well, I like her tripod, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's I mean, I appreciate you guys always doing stuff for me. No, but... because you can't. Can I Technology one, Tia zero. That girl needs help. <laughs> um, I felt like it was really, really good. My oh, her doctor's office is nice. Keeping up with my medical appointments yearly is so incredibly important to me. And I also think it's just really important for, you know, black women to be advocates for themselves when it comes to their wellness. Absolutely. Take care of your body. Yeah. Kudos to Tia for using her platform yeah. for awareness as well. It's not just about her, but okay. so much of this her story dad. can be helpful to other but people. Where's the so what do we do? is absolutely an entertainer. She may even be a director because she's really bossy. She told me all kind of stuff to do. That's I'm just, I'm just trying to get the job. Cairo said, I'm not bossy. I'm not the boss. <laughs> Good for Cairo. Ted McMahon, I think, was the Ed McMahon. Ed. I got you. His name is Ed. <laughs> That's endearing. Ted McMahon. No, you were so confident. Ted wrong. McMahon. <laughs> I said Ted McMahon. My Ed. parents, they were in the army and they were very strict. So they were like, okay, our kids are famous. Our kids are making money right now. But that did not change the way that they Good. Us. We had Good. An allowance. We still had chores. Mm -hmm. We were still kids. And look at they how both of them have grown up. And, so um, they've been very responsible. And they, are, they haven't had At crash a young out. age, I did lose They out got to have a house. You know? <laughs> Not the bedtime aerial view. Hello. You uh, having a good day? Oh, they got her laying upside down so yeah, the camera I can see her at the same I just okay. finished folding some clothes and putting some clothes up. Huh? Sounds like Superwoman has her cape on. Aww. I feel like Superwoman, period. <laughs> Your outfit was made to vibe with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tia is so mean when receiving a compliment. I oh my God. I love sushi. It feels good to be asked, you know, on a second date. I'd love to. Well, we'll Girl. Okay. Aw, <laughs> uh, thank you, Charles. Same here. He has a lot of anxious energy. Good night. I feel like when I get awkward, I smile. So my whole first date with my husband Mommy was like, is going to hang out with some friends. I was just so nervous. What friends? What friends? Jerome. Hi. <laughs> Hello? Hi, is this Tia Mori? Yes. Hi, this is Dr. Funk's office. We got your results back in from your mammogram, and your results have come back up normal. We'd like to schedule you to come in for a biopsy as soon as possible so we can get some further insight. When do you think you might be able to come in? Um, I don't know. Hold on. I'm sorry. Hold on for a second. Okay, so it's never easy to make those calls, I'm sure. And the doctor handled it really well by being very direct, succinct, um, and straight to the point. And it's probably an editing thing. This is probably an editing thing. I would not have said they came back abnormal right after saying hello. I would have asked, is now an okay time uh, to talk? Or I likely would have said something like, we want to discuss the results of your mammogram. When is a good time to, for you to come in? We'd like for you to come in as soon as possible so that we can discuss it or something like that. But I don't know that I would have said they came back abnormal right then because like right now, Sierra is driving, but that could have very well been Tia driving. And you see her reaction was a big one. So I, I likely would have made sure that the path was clear to say that. I don't know. I, I felt like that was a little bit right on the nose. But this isn't the first time Tia has had some sort of um, brush with, with thinking she had cancer. Cancer runs in her family. 
And so it's something that she stays on top of, of getting her regular screenings and checks, which is great. But on TN Tamara, the reality show on Style Network, we also saw her get a moles biopsy, but she'd also said at that time that previously, prior to that show in 2011, that previously she had had to have a lump biopsy. So she found a lump and everything came back clear. And so it's clear that this is kind of something that she deals with a lot. I'm really glad they're choosing to share this on the show. Uh, there's no way to know what this is unless you take it out. Hearing the doctor say that I have to remove my mole because it could possibly be cancerous is freaking scary. Um, I'm just calling just to, I guess, get the results for... Yeah. No, oh. the yeah. So I, got all the, I got all the results for you. I want you to take a nice deep breath. Okay. Everything, everything is good. No cancer. Hold on, pause right there. Sorry, that's Dr. Palmer. My doctor, when they had to look at things, they immediately called and was like, I, I thought I had a blood clot in my leg. And my doctor called and was like, the next day, she was like, we got your results back. You don't have a blood clot. Your MRI came back normal. I was like, Dang. like before I even got, I was like, hello. She's like, is this Sherry? And I said, yeah. She said, is it a good time to talk? I said, yes. She said, we got your results back from your MRI. Everything's normal. You don't have a blood clot. <laughs> I'm a, I like direct communication. I do not like him and how, and it makes it so much worse because I have anxiety. So him taking deep breath, deep breath, all right. Like you take a deep breath. No, I'm oh my gosh, that's what I do. I remember I actually had a little lump in my breast. Thank mm -hmm. God they didn't find anything. So I'm kind of just experiencing that right now. Do you know, does it ever scare you that we have a lot of cancer in our family? And my mom's two brothers, your mom's brothers died of cancer. I love Sierra's immediate reaction to oh sit with her and be... I don't in want silence with her. You to I'm worry too much. Like, let's yeah. just get the appointment on the books and see. I feel like right when I'm working on my mental, sorry. It's okay. I just it's feel okay. like right when I'm working on my mental health. See, I see Sierra showing up in moments that matter. This. So my this doubts like about her situation now. This is my health. Being a bit off the show, maybe so much to me. take care. This of is a my great mental moment. Health get it out it's better out than in she has an amazing team of doctors a very well-rounded team of doctors and there's no need to worry i just think about what it, worry is going to happen like, when you think you have it there's already one and what if something were oh no to tia don't do to that and it's like what the hell you don't know see if they get you tomorrow i've oh, been right? on a roll all morning Natasha's so pretty alina's so gorgeous no i was basically just uh telling her welcome to my morning Listen, I can't do all of it alone. Whoa. Okay, we're back to me saying that something is just offbeat about Sierra because that was insensitive as hell. That is what I mean when I say Sierra is insensitive and rude at times. And it feels like at times she isn't fully considerate of the moment and maybe a little just a, a tad bit immature because yes, Tia should not be Googling this stuff. And yes, she's probably freaking out. And sure, it's probably just really annoying you. But girl, even the, the mention of the C word or the possibility of the C word in the same sentence as your name will send you into a tailspin. And even if she has been through it, this is still Tia's journey. And this is how Tia is choosing to handle it. If you are her support system or her friend or part of her support system, sure, you have feelings. And when it's too much to support her and something so intense, tap out, tap back in when you can give your all. But to make a mockery and an insulting, passive aggressive statement like that, especially in front of her other friends, I don't like that at all. And Tia's face said it all. It reminded me of when Tia said planning uh, Cairo's party by herself was um, for the first time was was scary. And and Sierra said, but it's better. It's going to be better this time. And she gave Sierra that look like, don't play with me. It was the same look. Sierra and these passive aggressive statements really get under my skin. You have to watch people like that. I'm sure she's perfectly lovely. And these kinds of flyaway comments probably come and go and you don't think anything of it. But that was just inconsiderate. Also, that was Tia's news to share. And if you're going to support Tia, support Tia. Just simple as that. I didn't like that at all because Tia should, she's at her table with her support system. If she decides to divulge to them, she has every right to do that. I don't like negging and shaming her for sharing that, but also 
belittling. That was very belittling and passive aggressive. And I don't like that. Something Sierra gives me the vibe of, and I've had people like this in my had past tense. I've had people like that in my life who in order to bond with other people, they would put me down in small jokey ways, but insult me. Um, it's called common enemy bonding. I knew something was ticking away at me about Sierra's energy and some of the things she does. I don't know if it's intentional. I don't, I don't know what it is, but it is clearly some sort of repressed issue. Um, there's just like a, mm, I'll just leave it at, it is, it, it, I don't know why it's there, but it's clearly passive aggressive. No, I was basically just uh, telling her. Welcome a whole bunch to my of... morning. Listen, Asha and Alina. Oh, rude. look at Alina. I'm them together. Look at Alina's face. Her and let her know, like, we've got her. Oh, she they are communicating it. with their oh, eyes. I feel like they've had a conversation too about the girl. Basically, <laughs> I have my annual mammogram. Hospital. So I did 24 <laughs> hours of volunteer work here in the hematology oncology department in college. She said. Mm -hmm. Gosh, Jerome, I just <laughs> feel like so the thing that's really nervous and so, so here we are. Yeah, I think Alina's stand oh. with you. Oh, good. Means a lot. Yeah. She, she it. her vibe is a warm and, hug. Um, all of our stories are different. Very you true. understand it. And to be able to yeah. hold her hand and guide her through yeah. it, that's what I have cute. been there before. Right. And I know that your mind runs amok. It just goes in every which way. So I want to be the support for her. Um, that's one of the, so what kind of music do you listen to when you work out? Today it was Afro beats. <gasps> Afro beats. Oh my god, I love Afro beats. Really? That's my thing. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That's and then I'll, I'll go Afro beats. I'll okay. take it to Africa. Okay. I like Afro beats. Is she? You know, got a call from my doctor and she was like, we was saw some abnormality with your mammogram and we would like to do a biopsy. Yeah, yeah. Sure. thank you for sharing that with me. Aww. That's a testament to how comfortable she feels with him. She's very comfortable with him. He must have a good energy in person. He has it on screen too, but it must be really good in person for her to be sharing this. Um, I don't know how to, I mean, that's a positive sign on one aspect, but it also could be like, he might just be a con artist because this is their second date. Um, but I actually trust Tia's judgment. She hasn't seemed to have an issue with, with her own judgment thus far she seems to make really good solid decisions and if she's sharing this it must be for a reason um that's a positive sign he must make her very comfortable i like this i like this i hope this continues on the same path going through this i want to bring awareness too so i'm going to be going to this really incredible event it's the faith fit um wellness health summit i'm just gonna do like you know a little speech just to kind of share my story hey, thank you so we come off a little yeah. bit inauthentic, right. but I think that's because we the cameras are there. Great. It job. might be an editing thing. You know, we're getting to know each other. We're having great conversation. Ooh, that's a nice dress. I'd love to have another date. Good. I didn't see Thank the dress you. You the whole time. Oh, she was like, let me let me show you a little lid. I know that's my Miss T. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye. Yes, we did. You can have some. Thank God. And she's going to protect her kid's peace. That is a big moment. And she's still front of mind. Protect my baby's psyche. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. It's welcome in the sunshine. Tell the clouds bye-bye. Exciting adventure. Yes. <laughs> I am so excited to be a part of this cause and to inspire. I'm happy to see more people, people embracing natural hair now. Really, it's be like the norm now. I love health. it. All right, First annual so, health and wellness. He summit. showed up. Yes, we're gonna get started in just a minute. We're just waiting for one of our panelists to come, and then I, we're gonna get I started. I felt a little boom, boom boom. Yeah, everybody, shut your. Um, Cell phones on silent. <laughs> We're stuck on C. Yeah, my phone. Okay. Seriously, if mm -hmm. someone can help find facilities, um, she's trying to radio. We yeah, are that's... stuck on C floor. Okay. They're gonna leave yeah, us on this the premiere, and then next week they're gonna be like, I made it right in the nick of time. That's how it always goes. But let me just say this: this is that is so beautiful be that he showed up. Okay, so those are my thoughts on Tia Mori, my next act, episode four. All is well. I'm glad we got more Jerome in this episode. I hope he's present throughout the rest of the season. He is one of my favorite characters on the shows that she's done. I'm always glad when he can be involved. So I'm glad he's involved with this project. This project seems to be very deeply meaningful to, to Tia and 
I'm glad that she is kind of doing so unabashedly. She's kind of just striking out on her own and showing what her life looks like and opening herself up to a lot of eyes, a lot of opinions, way more scrutiny, um, but overall just truth and transparency. And I said in the last episode recap that I hope we get to see more of Tia doing things by herself and seeing where that independence is coming into play. But in this episode, I feel like I did get an idea of where we're headed and i think i'm going to see exactly what i was mentioning in that episode so that's just all the more reason to stay tuned so i'm excited to continue to watch and recap this show so that's all i have for you today if you haven't already feel free to go ahead and like this video subscribe to my channel and feel free to go ahead and share so more people can find us i appreciate all your support and i hope you're enjoying the videos with that said leave your comment in the comment section below and i will see you next time bye